Alrighty, welcome to this video. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use this program that will allow you to switch back and forth to, from different resolutions using a hotkey. Resolution is just how many pixels are packed into a screen. You always hear about Blu-rays and, and high resolution and HD. That's all talking about resolution. The, the more pixels you have in a screen, the more HD it looks, the better it looks, the cleaner and crisper and, and the better it looks. Thing is though, the more res the more pixels you throw into a screen, the smaller everything is on a computer. So if I were to up the resolution on my screen, every all my desktop icons, my folder icons, everything is going to be smaller. But if I lower it, everything gets bigger. So in instances like this where I'm doing a screen recording, it's important that I do a lower resolution so everything on my screen looks bigger and easier to read so people watching my video can see everything that I'm doing and read the screen. But when I'm just working, doing my thing, higher resolution is good because everything's smaller and it gives me more area to work with. So for me, I'm switching back and forth from resolutions a lot because I do different recordings and things like that. So I just want something that can make it easier for me. Because I mean, <laughs> heaven forbid that I have to click four or five times to do this every time. Because what I was doing here is I'd have to right click on my desktop, go to display settings, this is Windows 10, and then I have to go to advanced display settings, and then pick my resolution, and dude, my finger is ready to fall off by then. Don't want to do that. So, I want something where I can just hit control 1 on my keyboard, and boom, it switches. Control 2, boom, it switches. And so, that's what I'm doing. So there's this cool little program called Hotkey resolution changer. So I'm in Google, I just did a search for it. It's at this funk.eu website. I'm going to go there, scroll down, gives you a little screenshot of what it looks like, and then I'm just going to download the executable right here. I'll just download it to my desktop. Okay, it gives me a zip file, and I'm in Chrome, so in the lower left is where it downloads. If you're in Firefox, it should be in the upper right hand corner. And if you're an Internet Explorer, repent and change your ways because that browser is a bane of the, on the existence of this world. It is a scourge. And Microsoft finally realized it, and they're getting rid of it too, which is a happy day. So anyways, uh, in Firefox, it'll download up here. So I'm going to click on the, the zip file. Jeez. Uh, let me kind of make this smaller here. So inside of the zip file, you see this hrc.exe file. That's what we need, and that's what we need to run. So I'm going to hit Extract All, and I'm just going to extract this to my desktop. Okay, I already did this, so if you do this for the first time, it'll just go, but it's saying you want to replace this, and I do, because I'm just doing it again. Okay, I'm just going to close out of all this. And we'll just kind of move this over, and there it is. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to double click it and hit run. And you can see down here this popped up. So when you use this, it's going to be down here in your taskbar in your little icons area. So if I click that once, it brings up the, the panel here. And all you do is you just set up how many hotkeys you want. Like So if there's three or four resolutions that you switch through, then you want to choose three or four. This can go up to nine. Uh, so I only use two. I use 1920 by 1080 when I'm just doing my normal thing. And when I re make recordings like this, I go 1280 by 720. So those are the two I want. So all you have to do is click change up here and you push on your keyboard the hotkey that you want when you want to change to 1920 by 1080. So I already have it here, but I hit control one. So control one shows up there and I hit set. So now when I hit control one, it'll go to that resolution. If I hit change, I'm going to hit control two and that's going to take me to 1280 by 720 and I hit set. 1280 by 720 I've found to be just kind of the perfect resolution to record in because it shows everything, everything's big, all websites fit in that resolution, it just works really well. So once you've done that, uh, if you click here, that's going to completely exit out and it won't work anymore. So I'm just going to hit minimize to tray, that's what I want to do. 
that gets rid of it and that just puts it back down here okay so that's what we want so I to be honest I have no idea what how this is going to look on the recording but I'm going to do it so I'm going to hit control 1 1920 by 1080 it's big everything's big but the thing is I'm recording in a region so you may not see that but you can see my cursor here if I go down well I mean you can't you can't see the taskbar anymore so if anything that shows you that it got bigger so I'm gonna hit control 2 and is again I'm lazy technology is here to make our lives better right so what if every time I reboot my computer this doesn't run by it doesn't run automatically I have to double click it and man I don't want to double click I want to turn on my computer and have this down here ready and working so there's a way you can do that and the first thing you want to do is go to that exe file here right click it and do create shortcut that's gonna create a little file that when you double click it it's gonna take you to this hrc.exe file alright so the next thing you will wanna do is click on the start bar start button whatever hit run type in run and hit enter and this is gonna bring up the run window that gives you lots of power <laughs> if you know what to type in uh, and I'm gonna do shell colon startup and what that's gonna do is going to open up the startup folder where it controls all the different things that open when I start the computer so shell colon startup hit OK and there it is and I've already done this again but I'm gonna take this shortcut and just click and drag it in here and that's it then when you open up your computer or you turn on your computer you boot, reboot it uh, it'll come up probably the first time it'll do it it'll say hey your computer's trying to run this file or, or this com this program are you okay with that uh, I may be able to show what it'll do yeah this will come up when you reboot and where did it go there we go this is gonna come up and then all I would do is uncheck this and just say no don't always ask before you open this file uncheck it hit run and then that basically tells Windows that hey this this can this program's good leave it alone and so every time you boot up it'll just start it up it won't ask you if you want to do it or anything it'll just start it and it'll be there and it'll be ready for you so anyways, I really like this. I'm glad I found this because I'm switching resolutions a lot. So hopefully that helps someone out there, guys. Have fun. We'll see you later.